Mr. Heffern here, and this is a short video on vectors and scalars. Okay, vec scalar values. Scalars are um, have magnitude and units. Scalar values are always independent of direction. So, for example, a person's height, standing up and laying down, is the same height. It doesn't matter what direction you are facing. So this person here has a height of 1.68 meters, standing up, 168 centimeters, laying down. It's the same value, either way. Uh, vector value. A vector value has magnitude and units and direction. Vectors must have a direction. This is the difference between a vector and a scalar. So for example, the person's weight, standing up or laying down. So in this case here, the person's laying down and they have a weight of 157 pounds down. And when they're standing up, they have the same weight of 157 pounds down. So remember, arrows are very important in vectors for vector diagrams. You must have an arrow for each vector. Also, you may notice for the uh, actual variable, uh, a vector variable normally has an arrow on top of it to indicate that it's a vector, not a scalar. Okay. Overall, when you do look for values, um, there's qualitative, which are non-numerical like the sky is blue, the room is warm. Quantitative, which has a numerical value, for example, 250 people, or uh, the room temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. And then in particular for quantitative, we got our scalar values where you have magnitude and units, like a uh, car traveling 100 kilometers per hour. And then you got your vector value, which is scalar with a direction. For example, um, the velocity of a person is 5 kilometers per hour north. So here's some common scalars. Uh, mass is a scalar, like 75 kilograms. Time, 10 seconds. Distance, 125 kilometers. Speed, 80 kilometers per hour. Height, 5 foot 6 inches. Energy, 4,186 joules. Uh, food energy, 500 calories. Uh, population, 250 people. Then we get over to our uh, vectors, which have an arrow. Weight, weight, force of gravity, 180 pounds down. Position, 5 kilometers to the east. Displacement, 100 meters to the north. Velocity, 10 meters per second forward. Acceleration, 9.8 meters per second squared down. Force, 50 newtons forward. And then momentum, 500 kilogram meters per second forward. And these are the main scalars and vectors you would find in a physics class. Okay, back to scalars uh, and vectors in summary. Scalars have magnitude and units. For example, this scaly creature here has 144 scales. And then vectors have magnitude, unit, and direction. So for example, this, uh, this villain here, he's traveling forward at 5 meters per second. And I uh, hope you know the difference now between vectors and scalars. Thank you.